there's a plaque that shows the history of the airplane where it's been. The original plan was to hop rides uh, last weekend with this airplane. It's a 1929 Ford Trimotor, one of four surviving operating Ford Trimotors in the world. <coughs> and it's owned by the EAA, <coughs> and it's one of their outreach programs where we travel the country with the airplane, offering rides and offer the experience of seeing what it's like to fly an old antique airplane in the 1920s. I had my first flying lesson at 12. My dad took me out to the airport, gave me one of these introductory lessons, and that was kind of a defining moment. <clears throat> and I've spent my entire career in aviation. I worked for a major airline for almost 40 years, and uh, still out of flying this thing, flying some corporate airplanes, and flying uh, seaplanes for a small airline up in the Seattle area. What's unique about it is it's just all uh, hand power. There's no hydraulics, there's no um, there's really no rudder, there's no trim, there's elevator trim, but it's basically just brute force flying the airplane. It's, it's an easy flying airplane. Um, doesn't really have any bad habits, it's just a little slow to respond because of the heaviness of the controls. And it travels at about 85 miles an hour, um, lands at about 85 miles an hour, climbs at about 85. <laughs> it's it's a, like a one speed airplane. But uh, no, it's, a, it's, it's quite an experience. It's unfortunate that because of the hurricane, we had to cancel our operations this weekend. But hopefully we'll be back next year. Oh, there's nothing but smiles at the end of a flight. Everybody just loves it. Um, and I don't know why, so why it's such a unique experience. Well, compared to airline flying day, um, it's generally an unpleasant experience riding in coach versus this thing where every seat's an aisle seat, every seat's a window seat, it's comfortable, good view, good visibility. Uh, a little noisy at times, but uh, it's just a completely different experience. Ford uh, 407, runway one, clear for takeoff. And uh, which direction are you headed? Yeah, hey, we're gonna do the same thing, just go straight out, go around the mountain, then come back from uh, the university. Roger, uh, Ford 407, runway one, well clear of the class, Charlie. Will do, we'll climb 2,500 feet, uh, 8407, clear for takeoff. The predecessor of Eastern Airlines, way back when, was the original owner of this airplane. And it was an airline service in the early 30s, but then as airlines uh, developed, airliner development uh, was rapidly expanding, the Douglas DC-2s and DC-3s came along, so these airplanes became obsolete. So this airplane went south of the border, and it stayed south for decades, and then came back to the United States and acted, it worked as a uh, firefighter. In fact, this airplane was actually a, one of the first water bombers this particular airplane. And the uh, same company used it for smoke jumping, uh, Johnson Flying Service. And it was a crop duster. It's been all kinds of, done all kinds of different jobs. And uh, it's been in a couple of movies. Yeah. 